Okay, let's go ahead and name these uh, angles that we're looking at right here. And this is part of those of you that are starting off in geometry. So this is real basic geometry concepts. A lot of you would be like, oh, this is so easy. I don't even need to watch this video. And if that's the case, move on to something more interesting on YouTube or the internet, or maybe check out some of my additional math videos. But for those of you who are just starting to learn geometry or want to brush up on geometry, let's go ahead and start with uh, naming these angles because angles in geometry have specific or could be classified with specific names and you need to know uh, these names or classifications. So we're going to take a look at uh, four different angles. Uh, if you think you know these names, go ahead and uh, put your answers into the comment section. Uh, how would you classify this angle, this angle, this angle, and this angle? So some of you are like, what are you talking about? I don't see an angle right here. Well, in fact, there is an angle. Of course, I'm going to tell you exactly uh, the name of that angle here in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. And believe me when I tell you, all students can be successful in math, but it requires two things. One, you got to work hard at the subject. Okay, you got to study, you got to do all your homework, take notes, all that stuff. But the second thing you need is great math instruction. That's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, even college level, and you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. Also, if you're preparing for any sort of test, uh, something with a math section like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, maybe a teacher certification exam, check out my test prep courses. I can definitely help you out there. If you homeschool, I have great middle and homeschool or middle and high school homeschool math courses. Uh, so you might want to check that out. And if this video helps you out, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe as that helps me out big time. All right, so let's get into these angles right now. Not difficult. This is going to be a fast video. But um, again, you know, uh, some of you are like, well, I don't need to know this because I, you know, I already took geometry, but some of you are just starting to learn geometry. So we all, you know, all of us start someplace at the very beginning, and that's what we're going to do now. All right, so this first angle here, okay, if you notice, is like a sharp angle, okay? We would classify this angle as an acute angle, okay? So we're talking about this angle right here, acute. Now, uh, think about that word acute, um, you know, like a medical, medical word. The doctor says, hey, uh, do you have pain here? Is it an acute pain? It means like sharp, okay? But an acute angle is angles that are less than... 90 degrees okay so this is an acute angle so if i had an angle like just like this okay right here kind of just sketching it out it's less than 90 degrees this that would also be an acute angle all right so if we got that right that's excellent again this is not going to be that difficult but you do you need to know these names okay so an acute angle angle is less than 90 degrees so what about this angle right here well this angle is what we call a right angle okay and it is exactly 90 degrees anytime you see an angle and you see this little uh, box in the corner that's indicating that it is it's a right angle it's exactly 90 degrees and of course it looks like it's 90 degrees which is like a corner of a square um, and that's a right angle again uh, not that complicated but right angles have a lot of particular uh, properties in them in geometry you study right angles and right triangles if I uh, turn this into a triangle, uh, this has a lot of, um, well, you study right triangles uh, very much in depth, but that's another subject. We're just talking about classification of angles. So this is a right angle. All right, so how about this angle right here? Now, if you look at the acute angle, it's less than 90 degrees. Now we know that this is a right angle. It's exactly 90 degrees. So this is obviously what? This is more than 90 degrees, okay, or larger than 90 degrees. So what do we call that? We call this obtuse, okay? This is an obtuse angle. And if you're up to speed on your vocabulary, you know, uh, you don't want to call anybody an obtuse person. Hey, that person's obtuse or it's dull, you know, or they're not, <laughs> you know, we can use these words uh, obtuse and acute uh, in other ways, but we call this obtuse. So if it helps you out to um, remember these other associations to these words, that's fine. But anyways, just know that angles more than 90 degrees are obtuse angles, but we have uh, our last and final angle, and that's this, okay? So angles that are more than 90 degrees, but really less than 180 degrees are 
obtuse because this angle right here, you're like saying, well, it's a straight line. I don't see an angle. Well, if I had a little uh, vertex right there, I could say, well, here's our angle. If we start off this way, we keep opening it up. So it's acute and then it becomes right. Um, then it becomes obtuse and now it becomes like, you know, we open it up and now it becomes like a straight line. And that's exactly what this is. This is a perfect uh, straight line. Matter of fact, it's exactly 180 degrees. So like this acute angle could be, oh, I don't know, let's say 45 degrees. Of course, this is 90 degrees. This might be something like 120 degrees. But if you have a 180 degree angle, what you have is a straight angle. Okay, straight is also an angle description. All right, so a straight angle, exactly 180 degrees. And that's pretty much it. All right, so let's put that here. 180. But uh, again, I told you this video wasn't going to be that uh, complicated. But in mathematics, especially geometry, there is a lot of classification of various different things. And you have to know, you know, uh, uh, these vocabulary, these terms, right? So it's not just, oh, okay, I under understand it. Yeah, you know, math, you do have to learn a decent amount of uh, vocabulary. And hopefully, now you're like, oh, okay, that's not that difficult. Well, that is exactly the case. Now, in geometry as well, you have classification of angles. You also have various type of special triangles and other things as well. But just take it one step at a time. That's why it's so important to take excellent math notes. Okay, so if this video helped you out, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you are a geometry student, I have a full high school level, complete comprehensive geometry course. You'll learn everything you need to know about geometry. And of course, you can find uh, that course by... Uh, following the description uh, in this video, going to my math help program along with all my other material. But uh, of course, um, on my YouTube channel, I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have like uh, well over a thousand videos. So I have m uh, many more videos on geometry as well. So check those out. Um, uh, uh, let's go ahead and wrap it up by saying my favorite phase, my favorite phrase, excuse me, I'm kind of not getting my terminology right. But that is, I wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.